Today I have this unfinished wood bed tray that I got from Target. It was $5. And it also has a set of legs on it. So that way it can open and stand on the bed as well. Now you can find similar trays at Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to start by taking my Wise Owl Smoky Quartz Chalk Synthesis Paint and giving it a good coat of the smoky quartz. And I just did it on the top of the tray. I left the legs wood. I'm going to allow that to fully dry and I'm going to take my Wise Owl black paint and a small art brush and I'm going to fill in these carved lines that were already in the tray with the black paint. And I just have a baby wipe because I am getting a little bit of the black outside of the carved line, but the baby wipe wipes that right up. I have these reusable adhesive stencils. This pack came from Hobby Lobby. It's the Show Offs brand, and it says thankful, and I'm going to put that in the bottom right corner of the bed tray. And I'm using a foam dabber and a small amount of black paint, and I'm just dabbing lightly on top of the adhesive stencil and then I'm going to remove that. Now if you just take a small art brush you can connect all the little lines if you do not like them there. And this is what we have so far. I'm going to allow that all to fully dry. I have these wood cutouts. I believe I got these from Joanne Fabrics and they're in the shape of a heart and I'm going to paint them using the Wise Owl Snow Owl. And then I had printed a few different pictures. I actually went to my local Walgreens and used their photo printer. So this is on photo paper. And I'm going to cut the picture to the shape of the heart and then just glue the wood heart around the photo. And you can just trim it up so none of the paper is hanging off the edge of the heart. And I did the same thing with a second photo as well. So I just traced the wood cutout with a black permanent marker. I cut my picture and then I'm going to paint the wood heart with the Wise Owl Snow Owl. And then using a little bit of hot glue, I just attached the wood heart to the photo. Now I only had two of these wood hearts. I wish I had more. So then I just had another small heart that I traced on two other photos. And I just cut that out so that all of the pictures were in the shape of a heart. But only two of them had the wood cut out around it. And again, I had these pictures printed on photo paper, but you can also just print them off your computer as well. So now I have four pictures all in the shape of a heart with the two with the wood cut out around them and then I'm just going to place them on the tray and once I'm happy with their position I'm going to glue them down. I use the hot glue on the wooden cutouts and then I just use E6000 on the back of the photo paper as the hot glue will melt it. And I allowed that to dry. I then took my amazing clear cast. This is a casting resin, which is also like an epoxy. And I get this from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to pour equal parts of part A and part B into a cup. So I found a larger measuring cup, so I placed my part A inside of that. And I'm just using a large popsicle stick to move the epoxy around. And now I'm going to take part B and I'm going to pour equal parts on top of that. And you're going to mix it. You want to mix it based on the instructions of whatever epoxy you choose. And once it's fully mixed, I'm then going to dump it on top of my tray. Now you always want to make sure you allow this to dry on a flat surface. 
And once the epoxy was in the tray, I'm just going to move it so that it hits the entire bottom of this tray. Now once you have your epoxy in place, you will notice that you do have some air bubbles. I like to take a small bottle of alcohol and just spray the alcohol on top of the epoxy. This does help eliminate some of the bubbles and as the epoxy settles, some of them do go away. Some people also like to use a heat gun. And there we go, now we have this picture bed tray and I also feel like you can use this as a decor, it does not have to be used as a bed tray. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.